Today I'm going to show you what to do when your broccoli bolts before it gives you broccoli. Before your broccoli broccolis. So this season we didn't get any broccoli, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six plants and they're about as tall as I am. So what they did, because our weather here is insane, it's like hot one second, freezing cold the next, our broccoli decided to bolt up the flowers and pretty much go to seed before it actually gave us broccoli. So instead of wasting the hard work, instead of wasting the nutritional value that this plant still has, we are going to harvest the leaves and we are going to dehydrate them to make a powder to add to smoothies, soups, whatever tickles your fancy. You want to cut the leaves, obviously, that aren't bitten by bugs, that are all spotty, that are gross. You're going to go through, make sure it's all nice and clean. All right, I got my bowl. I got my scissors. I'm going to start cutting. you grab a bucket to compost the ones that are all bug ridden. I didn't do that before the video. So hi guys I'm Spider Girl. All right now that I have my bucket full let's go inside and I'll show you the next step. So I have my bowls of leaves. Um, I laid out a couple of dish towels or paper towels or whatever you choose to dry your leaves on. And now we're just going to gently wash your leaf. You know, your leaves. You don't want to like get in there and like mix them all up because then you're just going to bruise them and it's just going to, these are delicate little leaves. Like I was brushing off some aphids on one and it already bruised it. So you just want to gently wash the, all of the dirt off or if there's any, you know, little tiny bugs on there, you just want to get that off there. All right, so we're going to do that right now. this dry. Uh, you can take a little paper towel or another dishcloth or whatever you like to um, damp the tops of it. Again, be careful. You're doing this gently. You don't want to bruise anything. Um, and then we'll be putting in our dehydrator. The better you let these bad boys dry, the easier it's going to be when dehydrating it. Again, dehydrating is removing all the moisture out of something. So when you put something that still has moisture or that's still slightly wet inside, it's just going to be a longer process. So you really don't want to be, you don't want to tap on any more time than necessary because this is already an extremely long process. These leaves are probably going to dehydrate for close to eight hours. Sometimes they take like a full 12, 16 hours to fully dehydrate and fully uh, become crispy so more time you can shave off okay so now we are going to cut the middles out of all of the leaves um, again it just helps with blending it um, this tends to stay really hard and you don't really get that nice fine powder that you're looking for so I just kind of like to make this step as easy as possible. So I lay out a bunch of the same size leaves. And then I'm just going to cut along pretty much the vein of the stem. I'm just gonna go straight down and I'm gonna do it on the other side as close to the stem as possible so we're not losing any valuable leaf, part of the leaf. And then I'm just gonna kind of cut that out and it's just the little stem. And now my leaf looks like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of the leaves. So I have my 
plate of leaves. Um, I went ahead and cut them all up. That way, in between sessions of dehydrating the leaves, it's gonna be super simple. I can just take those out. Um, what I usually do is I'll just shove it in a big um, mason jar just to house them, house them all until the whole batch is completely done. And then I'll just keep adding to it after each batch is done. Um, but then with this, instead of cutting it and washing it every single time, blah, 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 um, I would just put them on a plate and then I'm gonna put um, a paper towel over it and then I'm just gonna stick it in the fridge and it's just gonna wait there until this whole process is done. Super easy. You're gonna cook this um, at 115 degrees Fahrenheit for however long it takes to get these little babies all nice and crispy. So some batches have been um, done within like maybe six hours and then some have to go all the way overnight. So it just kind of depends on the moisture content that you left on the leaf or the moisture content in the leaf already. Um, or sometimes if you overlay too much, um, it'll take some time for it to fully dehydrate. Okay, and we're just gonna start this bad boy up. Oh, it's a bad boy, all right. So after your leaves have been dehydrating for however many hours, you want to check on them and to tell if they're done or to tell when they're done, you are just gonna like pinch it and if it starts to crumble or crack, um, you're pretty much good to go. If there's any sort of bend to it at all, that means there's still moisture left in the leaf and it needs some more time to dehydrate. Once, once that's all done, and your leaves are all dry and crispy, you're gonna throw them all in a blender, high power blender or a food processor, um, and you are going to blend your little heart out. And you're gonna blend, and you're gonna be like, oh, that's done. No, you're gonna keep blending until you have a fine powder. Um, if you can kind of tell, it's very, um, you can almost put it in a capsule is how fine it is. So you want to make sure that you do that because in case you do want to put it in a capsule, you don't have big old chunks. Broccoli leaf is said to be like the new kale. It's um, packed with zinc, vitamin A, vitamin C, uh, all this fun stuff uh, that you are just kind of wasting if you don't harvest them and you know, put every part of the plant to use. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave that below. And for more details on dehydrating broccoli leaves, there's a full blog post on our blog, osureican.com. And it has some more pictures and so a little bit more information and just maybe step by step. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and until the next video, I'll see ya. to go potty um go quickly so um this this lever stuff right here on the counter uh tell your kids to not touch it because um because like if you touch it you will you will <laughs> i don't know so um Mommy, could you touch this? This is so sticky. What is it? Touch it. I don't want to touch it. I don't know what. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope this brings you some sort of.